Hi, my name is Simone and I'm the Zen Mommy. I help people with spiritual awakening and navigating your ascension. If you're new to my channel, please press the bell button and subscribe and you'll be updated. Um, the bell button will notify you of my next video. And, you know, the reason why I mention that is it really supports the YouTubers in trying to, you know, who are doing this you know, as a, as for a living or a sort, it just supports them. It helps us to get more views by, um, you know, YouTube recognizes us when we got activity, we got likes, we have subscribers, it all, it all helps. So, you know, if you like my channel, if you feel that, you know, you resonate with my spiritual message and you would like others to hear it, please, by all means, like, share, comment. Um, today I want to talk about, um, uh, layers and layers of programs. <laughs> I want to talk about programming. Um, last weekend, uh, we did ayahuasca, and the first message I got from Aya. Um, so, okay, so I'm learning a lot with doing ayahuasca. Okay, so every time I do it, she's teaching me things I need to know if I want to help guide people in this experience. And one of the things I did learn is the past few weeks, um, past couple of months, um, this is why I haven't been doing videos as much. I've, we've been living in a hotel. And because we had a leak in the mold and all this stuff, this nonsense we manifested. We'll go into that in another video. But I was gone for the two months. And I don't know what train to talk. We was about to have to begin. Um, oh, there's a program in Ayahuasca. Okay. So I was watching TV. I said that to say I was bored all day in the hotel. I had all my stuff here, all my equipment here. I couldn't run my store. I couldn't coach anybody. And I was watching a lot of TV. I got a couple of shows and I kind of binged a few. You know, I kind of, I had got back into, I used to watch TV in the past, but I got in that habit again when I went to Florida, when I was kind of cut off from the world without a car. And I just, when I was bored, I started watching TV shows. So I was watching TV shows and when I started, when ayahuasca kicked in, I started having vision of the freaking zombies <laughs> that I was watching. <laughs> I was like, oh no. So the one thing about ayahuasca is when the vision start, you can stop the vision. You can just wake up, open your eyes. You're not asleep, but you could just like, okay, I don't want to think about that. You can change it so easily. You're completely, you're in control to not receiving. She's going to give you, she's going to, you're going to receive lessons from her. Um, you just, you, you're open and you can follow the lessons, right? And so in the lessons, I start seeing these, um, I start seeing all these, the, the zombies. <laughs> and so I was, I was watching I Zombie and The Walking Dead. And, um, anyways, I started seeing the zombie in there and I was like, what the heck? And I realized that, you know, I didn't properly, you know, detox myself before ayahuasca. Like I should have spent you know, some time from no TV, like a week or two. And I should have really prepared myself. But this is a part of the journey. I'm learning, like, what to do and what not to do every time I take ayahuasca. And so I started seeing these. And the next thing you know, like, I started to get this vision. And the vision was, it wasn't something that I can really describe, like, this in our physical world. It was an um, image of, uh, it looked like an image of designs that went into stairs going up and up and up in a circle. And then when I saw the vision, every time the stairs would change with a different layer of graphics, a different layer of design colors. And Ayahuasca kept saying layers and layers of programming, layers and layers of programming, layers and layers of programming. And so when she's giving you the message, so it happens like the you hear, she, she gives you the message, right? And then your mind is then enlightened to why she's giving you the message. Like you'll start, like all of a sudden you have access to like your Akashic records that you can start seeing why. Now, why was she saying layers and layers of programming? Well, layers and layers of programming because I started to see, we come into this world as a blank state in this creation. We have agreed to come into this creation with no memory of our prior lives. You know, some people have, you know, um, memories sometimes and some people are special and they 
do know stuff, so I have met those people. But the, but for the most part of this experience, is a lot of us had to lower our vibration to come here. So we had to forget who we were because knowing who we are, we wouldn't be able to go through the contrast of this experience, the, the ups and the downs, the things that shape us and teach us, that evolve us, you know, that expand our consciousness. We needed to experience the whole yin yang dark light factor, whatever. And so, um, with that being said, coming here blank and empty, just imagine like an empty, empty slate or empty anything. Anything empty can easily be filled. <laughs> and so when something is empty, you're now, we're now filling it with programs. Okay, first program, the parents is teaching you what's right or wrong. It's teaching you if you fall, you get hurt. So when you fall, you get hurt. So like our program is so strong and it's built that way, that whatever we believe in becomes our true experience because we are source energy in a human body. And source is a creator. Our inner being is our true creator, our subconscious mind, our soul, whatever you want to call it, right? And so being blank, all you need to do is believe in something and then that becomes real to you. So when you start to get programmed by your parents, then they send us to school. Now we're going to program a whole different thing. And if you happen to be in a religious family, you were sent to church. And when you sat on that pew, you were programming that you were a sinner. You were programming that you needed forgiveness. You were programmed that um, my son just walked in. Hi, honey. Um, just a second. I'll be right there. Okay. Okay. All right. And so you're programmed. Um, yeah. You're programmed. Um, and that, after that, we turn on the television. So that's where I'm getting at. The television constantly close. So when you, if you think about te television, they call it your regularly scheduled programming. Okay. So it's just kind of like, it's already like said, but unsaid, but because we're asleep in the matrix, we don't really realize that they're actually purposely programming us. They're programming us to think a certain way. Like just say the government, Illuminati, whatever you want to call it. I'll have topics on that lately. Basically, if you think about superheroes and, and villains and stuff, all these shows about superheroes, the superheroes always work for the government. They always capture the bad guy. You see, this is programming to think. You don't really see, I think maybe there's one, you don't really see them go against the government. We all know that the government is very corrupt. We know that we're awakening out of the matrix. We understand that, you know, everything as far as our food we're eating is pumped with hormones, toxins, all to control us, the vaccines they give. It's all to keep us sick because who makes the money in the U.S.? The big pharmaceutical companies, they have created United States as a corporation. OK, and so in order and so everything is controlled, the media, social media, the television, this is all regularly scheduled programming. So the whole thing about this life, you may think that maybe you saw an episode on TV, maybe you saw a romantic episode. You think this is how love is supposed to be. Maybe you saw like an urban communities. You always notice that they throw that in there, that the black woman is always struggling. The dad is a deadbeat. The dad is on running the streets or have multiple women. Uh, they're ghetto and they're loud. And that, you know, we get portrayed, and I don't like to say the word black anymore. We're indigenous women. We're indigenous because we're originally from here. And we are programmed to, to, to be this persona that is advertised of us. And we know that everybody's not like that. I'm not up here. Hey, y'all, this is Zim Mommy. Y'all better, you know, okay, so what I'm saying is there's a, there, it's so subtle, and what Ayahuasca taught me is we have a thousand layers of programming and more, and on this ascension journey, we, those programs are, are, are embedded as really deep belief systems in us that, that we, uh, we're almost doomed to repeat certain programs. So in your ascension, you have to start, you have to start um, raising your consciousness and awareness to understand when I have, I'm running an old program. But look at yourself like we're a computer. The brain is like a computer. If you ask for something to your brain, ask yourself a question. When was the last time I had um, ice cream? Then your brain will scan all the times you had ice cream. It works just like a computer. OK, so now we have to learn how to break those programs. So say we have like I have some old programs coming up and I'm going to do videos on this. I have some P 
PTSD uh, program, but I, yeah, it's a very traumatic relationship. And I don't even think I really realized how traumatic it was until I got with a man who was good to me. And now that I'm with Dorian, I'll have these phases where everything is going great, but I start pushing him away because I'm scared. This is an old program. I'm used to somebody treating me so bad that I can't allow them to get close to me, right? So as it comes up, I'm starting to notice when I'm starting to push him away and stuff. Okay, I'm running an old program. It's not an easy journey, but the best part of this journey is starting to understand what's actually going on. So once you understand what's going on with the programming, we start to work. We start to raise our awareness and consciousness. Mommy. Just one second, honey. Okay? All right, I'll get them in a second. Just wait, okay? <laughs> so we start to raise our consciousness and being aware of the programming that's taking place. And you just have to assume everything has programmed you. Everything. And so if it's something that's not making you feel good, if it's something you're going through, like an old issue, and that's been coming up a lot for us. A lot of stuff is coming up. Some deeper stuff is coming up because we have to clear this energy of these things that we suffer, you know, things coming up like maybe you was molested as a child and didn't know it and it came up. You just things are manifesting, things that has been in our energy all this time that's somehow manifesting in our lives in a negative way or making us attract something that is not in the right vibration. And so I just wanted you guys to understand the whole layers of programming thing and understand if you do watch TV, because I'm not saying anything's wrong with TV. I'm not stopping yet, but I am taking a break. But you have to understand when you watch it, please be aware that this is strategic. These shows are strategically planned to program you a certain way. You always notice on the, the, the television shows about the, the crime shows about the cops and when they finally catch the bad guy and they be like you murdered the victim you did this this and that and always at the end the, the person is like you're right i did murder her i couldn't let her get away with that she cheated with my husband i had to do it it's like that like anybody would be that willing to tell on themselves for murder just knowing that they're going to get locked up and never see their life again. I'm going to tell you, if somebody did that, they're not trying to go in. They try, they're not trying to confess. But we've been programmed to think that that's going to happen. So maybe that if you are a murderer and you get caught, maybe you will confess. So, like, it's subtle, but it's not so subtle. Layers and layers of programming. Thank you for watching. Peace and love. Namaste.